the craziest show I ever played was at Ella Lounge in New York City, 2012, 2013. Zero people. I had one keyboard singing. The sound guy was yelling at me for not bringing any people in the audience. As I was playing, as I was singing, he was like, what am I even here for? And then halfway through the set, he just turned off the sound because no one was there anyway, except there were two Russian guys at the bar who were like cheering for me. And I was like, yes, thank you. But then I realized they're the people playing after me. <laughs> it's not a crazy show, but it was a moment where I was like, I really need to work at this. I need, I didn't realize I had to promote a show. <laughs> so what changed? How did you go from there to opening for Lord? <laughs> from there, I played 2,000 more shows. And um, I kept playing to nobody. But as I did it, I learned ways to make myself heard. I went through a phase when I lived here of like playing four shows a week at dive bars deliberately just places where I knew people did not want to hear me because I, I realized after that show I had to toughen up. I always loved music, but for a long time I didn't believe I could be a musician. Um, I just didn't see anyone like me doing what I wanted to do, and so it didn't... Just to understand that it was possible for me took a long time. I was an Asian girl who wasn't hot <laughs> or who wasn't who wanted to write my own music and didn't want to do anything that I was seeing. My God, I'm so lonely. It's so strange how when you don't see an example of something, it's very hard to imagine it. Of Touring is my life now, and it's a very isolating experience. I found that the more I do this, the more I kind of like reach out to other people doing what I do and hold on tight to them and like try to support them and get their support. I kind of realized I have to do music. It's not even a choice. Like I have to figure out a way to do it.